Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. We are here in Davos in the World Economic Forum with Common Goal. I'm here with Jürgen Grisbeck and this is my first time but he's a veteran in here. So Jürgen, how can you tell me about what the um, World Economic Forum works? Yeah, the World Economic Forum, it's now the 48th edition of the World Economic Forum. And the mission of the World Economic Forum is to improve the state of the world. So over the years, obviously, the topics have changed, but it has always been a platform for dialogue among all sectors of society. So you will find here heads of state, I think 60 or 70. You'll find leaders of corporations. You'll find leaders of the non-profit world. You'll find also social entrepreneurs, tech leaders, um, or young global leaders in different, in different areas of society. So this year's chapter or this year's topic is, is very intriguing because it's all about how to collaborate in a, in a fractioned world. Yeah. Because we have, and I think the World Economic Forum has learned over the years, that only through collaboration we can actually yeah. um, achieve change. And that's what you will say makes this year special, no? What is the, what is the special reason behind this World Economic Forum 2018? Yeah, exactly. It's that. It's, it's how to like, reset our minds that we understand that it's not about the individual, that it's not about the individual nation, that it's not about the individual organization or corporation, that it's not just about you and me, but it's about how can we join forces in order to actually, at the end of the day, achieve what is set out as the global goals. Yeah, it is exactly what we're trying to do with, with Common Goal, right? Exactly. Trying to create the biggest football world in a football team in the world uh, by bringing professional footballers together and, and try to collaborate through our beloved sport, football, and to help many people's life in, in many different countries. So I think it's very important to, to speak about working as a team, working as a global team, better than as an individual, and, and talk about cooperation and not competitiveness. So um, what do you think about cooperation, competitiveness, and all these tasks? I think it's important to always, like, want to be as good as you can so to make or uh, to be the best of, of of what you can be but at the same time i think what we have to learn is actually to um, to understand that the challenges are are much bigger than any any of us can really tackle by by him or, her, or herself and and therefore the the definition of the global goals with a time frame of now 12 years to go I think it's, it's quite a nice compass for, for global society to go, but at the same time we have all these like, different movements in the world or, or leaders who are um, trending in a different direction, who try yeah. to separate, who try to divide, or, 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 or who, who are not necessarily like in, with, a, with, a, with the ambition to, to go for, um, towards collaboration. And I think football can be an interesting place to learn yes. um, and, and, and allow for an enabling narrative and yes. be the glue for people to actually join without necessarily being aware that they are joining. Because, I mean, it's just about, about the, the, the passion to do something together, to achieve something together. Yes. And if football can enable, like also the understanding of the global goals, I think we have, we have achieved a lot. And with Common Goal, we're going in that direction, I guess. And I, I would be curious, I mean, you just, you're now here for an hour or so, <laughs> um, but what, what was your first impression when you got here? Well, you know, I think that um, is the place to be right now in the world. You know, as you say, so many political leaders are here, businessmen, people that somehow they want to make this world a better place. And as we speak, they want to make uh, a better one in, in a fractured world. I'm so happy that we can represent Common Goal in here, and I'm so happy that we can support as well the UN Global Goals, the 17 Global Goals, which we alienate from, from Common Goal to, to achieve in the coming years. And I'm so happy to be here with you because it all started a few months ago with our conversations, and now we are here in, in Davos in this week, which um, every single matter of the world is, is being spoken about here um, and where people make decisions. So the first feeling is I feel so lucky to be here thanks to football, thanks to Common Goal, and I'm really enjoying the moment. It's been just 30 minutes, but I hope I can enjoy the rest of the day because yeah. I think it's a, it's a chance for us to meet so many great people, you know, and to speak about 
very positive causes and, and obviously to share our vision about how we can change things through football. And as I was saying in an interview before, football is the biggest force for good that we have in society, in the world nowadays. And I think we can, we can use that in a positive way of, mm. of being used for, for the good and for the better and for trying to make people live in better conditions and the better circumstances and, and to have uh, better lives somehow. Yeah, that's what we believe in, isn't it? Mm. Um, and I, I, now that you mention um, football, football as an enabler, like in the topic of, of this of this year's um, 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 forum, well, yeah. yeah, world um, world economic forum. Um, I'm I'm just thinking about. I think if I remember well, it's the first time that football is present at the World Economic Forum. I think football hasn't been, even sport hasn't been really present before. Here are cultural leaders. You, we have had Will I Am in this week. We have had Elton John in this week. There was Kate Blanchett yesterday talking about um, her involvement with UNHCR. So there, there, is, there is movement like from, from, from big cultural like, like areas, but, but sport and football have, have been definitely not really present, and I think it's actually the first time that a football player is at the World Economic Forum. Mm. But you, you mentioned the 17 global goals. Yeah. Is there one specific global goal you would be very passionate about, personally? Well, all of them, obviously, because they are the global goals are very important and, and general to, to help so many people and to make this, this world a better place. But we can speak about yeah, ending poverty, ending hunger, um, a lot about education, equal education. But if I have to say one, I'm very interested in, in empowerment for female gender and, and gender equality. Um, you know, I think women have a real um, power and, and real strength in this world. And I think the situation should be more equal in many aspects for, for any of them. Um, not just in football because we speak about football and about uh, sports, but in general in society I think the position of the, of the women in general should be more equal and, and I'm very interested on in that matter. But obviously if we uh, speak about the 17 uh, global goals, they are really, really important and really crucial to make this, this planet a better place to live for everyone, not just for the lucky ones that mm -hmm. we live in, in lucky positions. So hopefully by 2030, which is the aim we can be here speaking again about how many uh, good and positive objectives we have achieved through common goal, which I have no doubt about it, but as a general matter in the, in the world, talking about political issues, uh, economical issues and, and many other things. So hopefully we can do it. Yeah, I would agree that football actually offers the way to have a light conversation about really complicated topics. Yeah. So I think that's, that's what we have experienced also as Street Football World over the last 15 years, identifying all these local organizations that are using football as a tool for social transformation. So we have experienced and have evidence now how football works, what does it actually affect um, in local communities. And one of the very strong elements is, is empowerment of of female, of girls actually, to actually find their place in society and not only participate but actually lead yeah. in their communities and on a global level as we hope. I'm very convinced that the world would be a different place if we had more female leadership mm -hmm. um, and a better place, not just a different but, yes. but a really better place and I think it will be necessary um, and therefore it is a global goal um, to, uh, to have um, female leadership from here to 2013 in order to achieve the global goals. Um, you'll be meeting Bill Gates tonight. <laughs> what do you feel? I think about so. Then? Well, I just will have never imagined that I will meet him. Um, you know, an individual that has changed the world in some ways, uh, first with his business and now through his and his wife foundation, um, doing an incredible and an amazing work in, in so many countries and working through so many organizations and to have the chance to meet him today and to speak about Common Goal and, and how football can make this world a better place is, you know, it's, a, it's something it's really, beautiful. really good, it's beautiful and, and obviously it's a day that I will always remember uh, meeting someone like him that has him inspired mm. and that leads and knows how to lead um, so many millions of people, it, it is um, amazing, so I'm I will be all open eyes, open ears, learn as much as I can and enjoy the moment. Wonderful. And, and speaking about women's leadership, you'll also meet Malala tonight. 
yeah, another great opportunity for me to, to meet a fantastic human being. All the courage that she had in, in her own country, Pakistan, fighting against many things, not just violence, but many, and many things. And, and she stood up and she suffered a lot and she had so many critical and bad moments in her life uh, due to that, but she was brave enough to keep going and, and I'm so happy she gets all the recognition she's getting because obviously she's an inspiration for not just all women in the world, but all men. And, and as a human being, I'm very proud to meet such an amazing people tonight. And, you know, it's, it's a fantastic day for me to be surrounded by, by you, by all the team of, of Common Goal. And I think we're doing something really nice and really inspiring. And, and being here today, it means a lot for, for Common Goal. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great experience. And I hope you can enjoy as much as I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I, I do very much. And I think also for social entrepreneurship, it's quite an, quite an important place. Um, it hasn't been always like that. Um, social entrepreneurship 10 or 15 years ago wasn't actually a concept. Yeah. Um, but now um, many of my colleagues are, are on stage, are in the panels. We are um, here with our initiative Common Goal. And, and we'll be talking tonight and actually announcing that, that Common Goal will commit to contribute towards the achievement of the global goals. Yeah. And, and many of them, if not all of them. Um, and actually, Common Goal, from a concept perspective in terms of the Goal 17, like building um, resilient and sustainable partnerships, yeah. I think it's a huge, a huge contribution we can, we can um, offer the yeah. Global Goals from a football perspective. Today we're 40 players. Um, but there's a mo lot more to come yes. um, and, and we, we already see like the willingness of the institutions, we already see the willingness of the corporate world in, engaged in football, we see like the cur curiosity and the, and the desire of other players, male and female, to join. Yeah. So I, I, I think it's, it's a very, very interesting and, and, and important momentum and tonight is just, I think, a reflection of that. Yeah, um, I agree completely with what you say and it shares obviously 100% the vision we had when we started all this. Um, and I would like to take this opportunity as well to say that in the next weeks we're going to start doing the pledge, um, the 1% that I have done and that all my teammates at uh, Common Goal, they have done. We're going to start to allocate the funds um, and it's another positive and fa fantastic step towards uh, bringing Common Goal everywhere. And I'm so proud and happy to announce it Today, um, my experience last summer in India, in Mumbai, thanks to Oscar Foundation, showed me uh, the real impact that Common Goal can do and is doing around the world. And, and it's amazing to bring more people on board and have these conversations that we're having with, with people that actually make decisions in the world and, and in football and in sports in particular. Um, so I just feel very encouraged about, about the future. You know, 2017 has been a great year for football, I believe, because of this Common Goal initiative. But uh, 2018 hopefully will be better and will be much more. We could help much more. We feel even more encouraged and we will stay together and fighting for what we think it's fair and, and through football, which I do love and play, which you love and support. And, and I'm so happy that we started this, this journey together. Yeah, 100%. Um... It feels really good um, and it, it, it sounds like a watch out. Um, there will be stories told this year about the allocation of collective engagement of footballers, male and female. And we will talk about other players, male and female, and hopefully other actors in the industry to join very soon. Should we listen to the audience of and course. see what we have? Yeah. What do you have there? We have a question for me, I think. It says, uh, fantastic to see Common Goal represented in the forum. Now that the movement is a couple of months old, what has been your personal highlight so far? Well, you know, people speak about big names joining the, the movement, but I feel really proud about the not so big names, that uh, they don't have an income as the big names do, and, and they still feel encouraged about the, the movement. So I could say many. Many names, it wouldn't be fair to any of them. And as well, the women, the leadership and the excitement that they have shown and commitment with, with Common Goal. So I'm, I'm really happy about all these not so big names. Just one thing I would like to add is that what has encouraged me so much is like the sense of the, of, of the players 
um, to be like happy about being treated like human beings and not just like footballers. I think I think that was a real like eye opener for me that that this engagement on an, on a, on a on a level playing field and from human being to human being was really appreciated by all of the players. I would yes. say. We should never forget that before being football players, we are human beings, and and that's what we're showing in here with with Common Goal. And I'm really proud that we can communicate and show ourselves in a in a fair way and in a positive exactly. way, and, and we can help through our through our beloved sport. Um, I think we don't have time for any more. Even we will speak about Common Goal for many more hours. So I just wanted to say thank you, Jurgen, for. For thank being here with me in Davos is a is a fantastic experience, <coughs> and thank you very much to all of you for joining us, and thank you for your support to Common Goal.